Today's episode is sponsored by my patrons on Patreon. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please consider making a pledge yourself. The link to my Patreon is down in the description below. <laughs> Sausage party, what? The main character of this movie is a hot dog. <laughs> That's so funny. Right, guys? Right? Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bobby and I love movies, so today I'm going to be talking about the film Sausage Party. All of you know what this movie's about, I'm not going to waste mine or your time explaining it. First of all, this is a fun movie. I really enjoyed it. I didn't really have that high of expectations for it. I thought it'd be kind of funny, have a decent cast, and look nice. And it did that, plus a little more which is perfect. It was advertised as an incredibly raunchy, R-rated, dirty mouth kind of movie. I was kind of nervous that they weren't gonna be able to live up to that. That's one of the reasons I went in with low expectations. And they did something I wasn't expecting them to. They actually kind of shocked me a few times. There is a scene towards the end of this movie that was like, okay, they are actually doing that. I have never seen that before. That's that's pretty funny. And although this movie did have a few really raunchy, holy crap, that's actually happening on scene moments, seen on screen moments. It also had some fun social and political commentary. Now, it wasn't like this brilliant commentary on life, but it was actually pretty fun. It kind of reminded me of a South Park episode. Actually, this whole movie feels very much like a South Park episode, which is a good thing. I adore South Park. I think it's a fantastically written show. Matt Stone, Trey Parker, mwah. This movie has a lot of actors in it. Seth Rogen, obviously, Edward Norton, Kristen Wiig, Jonah Hill, Michael Sarah. Like, it's a pretty loaded cast. And they did a good job at not making the characters be just those actors as food. They all played fun, unique kind of characters. Like Edward Norton, I couldn't even tell that he was the Jewish bagel. So they fooled me. And you know the saying. Fool me once. Shame on... Shame on you. The whole cast did a decent voice acting job. The majority of those people, I think, aren't very used to doing cartoons they mostly do like live action comedies so it's cool to see them transition fairly well the one voice that really stuck out to me was jonah hill's voice they're eating children fucking children like his voice is just so jonah hill that that kind of popped out every time he spoke but he would probably only has like five minutes of actual screen time so that wasn't really a problem nick kroll as the douche i think was fantastic casting he does that kind of character all the time on the kroll show so that was fun to see it in animated form. This movie has gotten generally good reviews, but pretty much every YouTube review I've seen of this movie has said the exact same things. They say fuck too much, it just be stops becoming a joke and it's just annoying. They stayed in the supermarket for too long, they should have been outside and exploring more things. And the movie felt too long and wasn't consistently funny. First of all, it's a Seth Rogen movie. Every one of his movies have that many fucks in it. It might feel like it's, oh, it's, they're just using fuck as the joke because it's an animated movie. That's just how Seth Rogen and his friends speak. So that's how the character Characters in the movie speak. I don't think the majority of the fucks are there to be like, ooh, he said fuck. I mean, the first couple are, I mean, I guess, if you're not used to seeing an animation where people say fuck, but I watch a couple cartoon shows like South Park where people say fuck constantly and it's not a big deal. It's just part of how people speak. I think a lot of people are misunderstanding what they were doing. I don't think they were using fuck as the joke in the movie. They were just speaking like real people in adult comedies speak and people think it's funny because it's food saying it but it's not really that's not the joke in the movie there's plenty of pretty quality jokes in this film as for the complaint people have had about this movie staying in the supermarket for so long keep in mind this movie was made for 19 million dollars that is nothing for an animated movie and this is a quality looking film granted there are a few parts where the texturing on a few models looks slightly unfinished or a little too clean, but that's very little of the movie, and mostly that's just people who are in the background, especially any of the scenes where it's darkly lit. And yeah, it's expensive as shit to make an animated movie, and the more scenes and lighting setups and textures and stuff you do, the more expensive it is. So the majority of the movie being set in the supermarket didn't bother me at all. Plus they had the character of Barry who was exploring and seeing things outside of the supermarket. I didn't really need to see any more of that. I was totally fine. As far as the movie feeling too long, I didn't get that at all. There were probably two or three scenes where they could have shaved 20 seconds off, but they didn't need to, they just could have. I really feel like the movie was decently paced and the jokes were fairly consistently funny. Now to find this movie funny, you need to like raunchy dick humor and social commentary, which thankfully I love both. So it's my kind of comedy. A few times the jokes are a little on the nose, but for the majority of the time, it's pretty funny. And there are several scenes that stand out like Barry decapitating that guy or the giant orgy scene at the end that had me laughing really hard throughout the entire scene. Also, one of the best scenes in the entire movie is the Terminator reference when the character played by Paul Rudd shoots a gun at the tiny little piece of gum and he breaks 
and then he starts forming back together. It's like the most weirdly badass scene. It's a little piece of gum with glasses on a tiny little wheelchair. And it was badass somehow. Overall, I really liked this movie. I brought five friends with me and we all enjoyed it. It's so cool to see a movie with a low budget and an original script actually making money in the box office. It's like having a gallon of water just drop out of the sky when you're dying of thirst in the desert. It's fantastic. Overall, I would definitely recommend you see this movie. It's an original idea that actually became a fairly funny film. Okay, guys, I guess that's it. Thank you so much for checking this video out. You can hit me up on Twitter at the Bobby Burns and Instagram at Bobby Burns Official. My Patreon is down in the description below if you'd like to send something to my p.o box it's right here and also down in the description and i guess i'll see you later guys peace out now i didn't really know what to expect because oh fuck no, fix the light sock on hand tighten you fucker okay ow i don't want you twitching the whole time oh it's burning the sock and smoke was coming off of it that's super fun